a few words about the uh, Commission on the Measurement of Economic Performance and Social Progress uh, that I chaired. Uh, the response to the work of our commission uh, has been enormous. Uh, it, it's become part of a global movement uh, of uh, people all over the world rethinking how we measure economic performance and social progress. Uh, there was a very large meeting, for instance, in Delhi, where over 800 delegates from uh, dozens of countries came together to discuss uh, how to move forward uh, in this agenda. The reason the agenda is so important is that what we measure affects what we do. Uh, and if we measure the wrong thing, we're likely to do the wrong thing. Uh, and the problem is that in the past we've been thinking, or too many people have been thinking, just about GDP. They've not been thinking about the well-being of the citizens. Uh, there are instances like in the United States where GDP has been going up, GDP per capita has been going up, and most citizens year after year are getting worse off. Uh, many countries have growth in GDP, such as the United States, but it wasn't sustainable. It wasn't sustainable economically, politically, environmentally, socially. And so clearly uh, we should be concerned not just how well we're doing today, but whether it's sustainable uh, over the long run. One of the reasons that I'm so uh, excited about uh, this agenda is that it helps us to think about, focus on the question of what do we really care about, what's really important, what contributes to the well-being of our society and the individuals within our society. Um, what's clear, clear is obviously that, that many of our societies have become very divided. Uh, with some people doing very well, but a lot of citizens, citizens not doing very well. And that obviously is not a metric of success. One of the important uh, aspects of, of, of our emphasis on how rethinking how we measure economic performance and social progress is that it's instigated dialogues all over the world on what people really care about. And uh, as we begin to discuss what we, is really important, I think in many places we realize that the directions our society is going are not necessarily the directions in which many or perhaps most citizens want their societies to go. Uh, I think among certainly a lot of young people, a lot more concern about the environment uh, a lot more concern, particularly among those who have met the basic material needs, that having more material goods won't improve the quality of life. There are other things that will be more important for improving the quality of life that they care about. So yes, we still have a lot of people who don't get out of, don't have enough uh, food, shelter access to health care, uh, given the huge inequalities in our society. And for them, the material needs are real. But over the long term, if we can achieve a more egalitarian society, then I think that we will go on to the next stage of, you might say, the development of our civilization and say, okay, now we've met the basic needs of our citizens. Uh, we met all of their their, uh, all the things that they need for having, you might say, a comfortable life. And then the question will be, how do we want to spend the productivity dividend? Uh, the fact that enormous increases in productivity uh, allow output per hour to soar. How are we going to spend that? Are we going to have more and more material goods or more leisure? What combination of the two? And I think that's a really important uh, discussion that every society ought to have. And I think many societies will come to the view that just having more goods is not going to bring uh, fulfillment to them. 
that there are uh, other aspects of life that are, will be more important. And that will be directions, uh, you know, education, health, culture, uh, in which our societies will going for, forward uh, in the coming decades.